Hey guys, Bing here, and today I'm going to show you how to model this parametric uh, geodesic shape. So um, this this one can you can change the size. Okay, so and you can use it for some structure like uh, like these. Probably not that one, but the, these ones, these ones, these ones. So you can change your size. And uh, yeah, you can like uh, add some uh, f framing or panel or yeah. So let's start. So first, create a family um, generic model adaptive, and go to floor plan and reference sign. Draw a circle. Draw on work plan, and and create a radius. So let's call it R1. Okay, so and then go to front view, draw a reference plan, dimension, and parameter. Let's call it H. Okay, so and I'll also name this reference plan H so it's easier to pick, pick uh, to a place, a place work plan. So go back to floor plan, so reference circle, draw on work plan. Set, pick this H, okay, and draw another circle here. So you can't see it because it's higher than the cut 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 plan. So just go to 3D view, so and then select it, create a radius, and then R1 as well. So now we have these two. So if I go back to this image, so these two circles, the height of this, okay. So so uh, I'm going to model this one first. So this is a level one. Um, what's it called? But yeah, this is uh, this one first. But after this one, we can do this and this, or potentially like all this. So uh, and also from this image, you can see that's one, two, three, four, five, five point, five triangular shape. So here, I'm going to select this circle, divide path. Type in five, so we have five points here. And for the lower one, same to my path, but for this one, I'm going to type ten, because if I type five, so all these points uh, will match the upper one. So I'm not sure how to rotate, so I'll type in ten instead. So now we can place some points here. So draw on face. So uh, the upper one, I'll just place all these points on the nodes on the points nodes and then lower one i'll just pick the the one in the middle of the upper one so like this so now we have uh, these points so we need to work out the h the the, the distance between these two uh, circle so if i go to floor plan uh, first we need to work out the uh, i go to this image First, we need to work out the length of this edge. Okay, so go here. So I'm going to draw, uh, uh, do a sketch. So for example, this from this point to here, and we know that's five, five of this triangular, which means this equals uh, three sixty divided by five, and then. And divide it by two, so this, so this angle will be 36, so which is 36 divided by 10, and then uh, we need x. This is x. We need. We already know this is, uh, this is r, r1. So x equals so 36 degree, so which is um, 36 sine. Sine 36 times R1 times 2. So x equals this edge equals sine 36 times R1 times 2. So I'll just go there. So I'll create create a um, just call it x. So that which is this this from this point to this point. Okay, x equals sine 36 times R1 times 2 
So one one two eight five point five. Okay. So now if I go to the um, elevation, so so as you can see, these three edge looks like the same height. So let's let's just say uh, they are uh, so so not same same length. So if they are the same length, so and I'll do another sketch. So one, two, three. Okay, so pretend these points here. So it's more look like uh, same length, and then we because we know this one's x, we just work out this is x, and uh, um, if they are same, so this will be thirty degree, right? So this is h. Okay, so h equals uh, x 30 degree h equals cos cosine cosine 30 degree times x uh, times times x okay so go back there h equals cosine 30 degree times x and okay so now you see this go up and uh, okay now let's go have a look of this now we need an another last two points so one's here and one's here so for these two points I'm going to in the elevation I'm going to draw a circle but before that I'm I will need a, um, a reference line between these two circles. So, okay, so I'll draw a reference line. Pick a plan. I'll just pick a from back, and then so here. So draw it from here to here. I'll have a look if see if it works. So. If I change the R here, I'll just have a test, see if this, yep, so see this one uh, follows the follows the radius and also follows the height. So now we can create place a point. So this time draw our face on the middle. So middle of this line and then reference circle set work plan draw on work plan and pick the vertical uh, work plan and then draw a circle and uh, I'm going to place it to here so now if if you look at the front view you'll see that's a circle right so this circle should go through all so this point this point and the top and bottom one. So, and now I know the there should be a drawn circle that of the point on the top of here and here. But now what we need to do is we need to make this circle a parametric to follow the uh, the radius one and follow this height. So we need to create a radius for this circle and call it R two. And okay, so now let's see how can we make it parametric. So I'll just roughly place it here and see if we can find the triangular shape. So I'll do another sketch. So here, so we know R1, R1 is from here to here, so which is here to here, R1, here to here, so we have this triangular shape here, R1. Uh, we this is R2 and uh, what's this one this one's so because this is this is H so this is H oh sorry divided by 2 so from this because that that's a uh, 90 degree so R2 equals 
square root of r1 square plus h over 2 square. Okay, so now let's do it. So go to family types r2 equals sqrt square root of r1 square uh, plus bracket h h divided by 2 bracket square and uh, okay so now let's have a look if I change the this r1 to maybe a so you will see this 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 r2 will match that shape so we will have a perfect circle to go through all these points okay so now we have all the points we need so so see these points five here five here and two so we can create this shape now so go a new fam let's do a new family adaptive generic model adaptive and uh, okay so place some points one two three adapt make adaptive and spline reference line spline reference line spline and reference line and then select re reference line create form and now that's it go load this back into this and then place the points so it just needs one two three one two three one two three yeah just place these points and the should be good Top one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So let's have a look. Oops, missed one, one, two, and three. So now we have this. Okay, looks good. And uh, S A H I. Let's have let's let's check see if it works. So if I change this R, yep, good. Okay. So the first step is finished. So so this is level one. So level two. Let's quickly do it. So we edit this family. So for the level two, uh, we we're gonna have a point. So this one, I'll just uh, dissolve it. So we need a one, two, three, three points from this. Okay. So one. So in the middle. Yeah. So draw on face. Middle. Or you can use SM, SM. So now uh, we need another point. We need offset from this point. So set work plan. Pick this work plan and uh, place it. And then just drag it up. Same. Repeat. Second one. Uh, this this one's going down, but that's fine. I just go down and then rotate this. Okay, so 
180 degrees, so go up and another one. Go down under 180. So these offset, I'll just create a parameter. Let's call it O O O offset O one. And uh, instead of type, I'll just leave it as type. So, but um, I'll just quickly do. These phase, and then I'll show you that's another thing we need to do. But uh, I'm going to quickly create this phase. So, first, just uh, draw all these uh, reference lines. Lines. So now from one, two, three, create a face, and one, two, three, three, create face. One, tab, tab, three, create face. One, tab, three, two, three, create a face. So this will be a uh, face for level two, but I'm going to sh show you the issue we're going to have. So see this one. So this is fine. If 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 this one go inside, just select them and flip flip them. So you can just flip them. So this is probably because when we place the uh, the face, some of them like we do uh, the the clockwise. Some yeah, some of them we just do place them randomly. So. So that's probably why. So some go inside, some go outward. Okay. It's not working. Yep. So yeah, just to fix that manually, ch change the side. So this one go outside. All good. So, so yeah. So, so you can see that that's a gap between between these. Okay, so what we need to do is just edit this family. Uh, select these points. So I'll just select this one first and see if I can. So if I type in 50, 15 degrees, so go that way. Maybe I need to minus 15 degrees. Okay, so um, and I'll just create a a parameter so angular par par ang angle parameter so this is negative I'll just call it um, angle angle uh, negative a n okay um, a n so this is a n let's have a look at this one because we previously we had changed this to 180 but this one, uh, 164 maybe? No. So it's 195. So this one I'll call it um, a a um, a plus 180. Okay, AP 180. And okay, so let's have a look at this one. This one's 180 as well. If one 195. Go this way. So this way, this will be one seventy four or sixty four. So let's create call this a minus or one eighty minus minus a. Yeah, it's a bit confusing, but uh, yeah, I'll just because we can just do a. Now we need to create a. So that's a we use to control all these three. Okay, so and change this to angle, angular angle, and now we can what we can do a. This is minus a, so this a n equals minus a, 
a plus 180 so which means 180 plus a so this is this is 180 minus a so we can just uh, change them to make them uh, just usually that's what I always do uh, if, if, if I have some parameter I don't want to see them in dimension so I'll just place them in the others other. so that's only a which we need to adjust so for example 15 can you see the difference 30 yeah okay you can oh what's oh uh, offset yeah okay I'll leave it so now load this back into that and then we can somehow adjust that to to match this edge so edit type so maybe that's too much 20 uh, still too much 19 no 19.6 uh, 19.9 20.4 21 no 20.8 okay so yeah it's 7, 8, uh, 7, 9, oh no, 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 20.79. Yeah, I'll leave it for now, so it's close enough. So this looks okay, but if I go to front, let's have a look at this. So these are not um not like circle so if you look at that so we might need to change the offset as well so let's try this one um offset 900 no 12 1300 yeah more like a circle i'll go go to front view because we have this circle shape so it's quite good now looks like yeah so there must be a some like a formula to or some uh but yeah i'm not going to use that formula but i'm just going to try and uh, find the perfect so this is quite good now so and then 20.a see if we'll close we'll close that Gap twenty point eight two twenty point nine twenty two twenty one twenty one point two twenty one point one so one three five zero uh one three three zero okay so now looks looks okay to me um let's have a look at 3d so it's, that's quite small quite nice now yeah and if i change that to and you will see it's not right again so let's just control z and then we just need to have a um, so it's a, it's a offset we need to have a formula for this offset but for now because it's a tight parameter in the shape of a family so we can't do that so what we need to do is go back into this family family type offset so offset change this to instance okay so instance and now okay load this back into family and then if we 
select that, select one of them, see, so now you can create, so, so SA, select all, and I'll just create a offset um, instance or type, I'll just type, it'll be fine, and OK, and now go family type, offset, A equals, so now uh, I'm just going to offset, I'm going to do, do a calculation, so uh, R1, A thousand, divided by offset 1330 equals 24.24.24.24.24 so equals R1 divided by 24.24 uh, the following is not a valid R1 oh sorry lower case and, and uh, no no it's not right three oh divided by one three three zero so a thousand divided by one three three zero equals so six point oh one five six point oh one five okay so now if I press OK apply so it won't, nothing change if I change this size so you will see uh, so you will see the offset will like now will change and match the the radius which make it uh, still quite like circular so yeah and then all these with the formula so what I will do is just place them on the other so you will only have one um, one parameter you can change the size and all the rest is just controlled by all the formula so okay so now if I um, if I create a project and uh, load this into the project Uh, yeah, don't worry about these points. You can turn it off if you want to. So you can, you will have, uh, sorry, uh, that's a type parameter. I'll just change that, this one, into a instant parameter. Uh, these are fine. We can just change all these into instance. Not this one. Instance, 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 and instance, and then range. Okay, all instance now. So go low back into the project. So now we have this uh, parametric shape. So we can just talk in. And So let's um, let me check the time. Oh, half an hour already. So I'll stop here. I'll stop here if you're interested. So because we are at level two, right? So we can do level three. That's quite easy. Um, but not today. I'll I'll upload the I'll upload this uh, this family, and you can have a look. Okay, so you can have a look. So slightly different, but uh, the most of the model is the same. It's just create the so see this is first first level, then just in this in this. Uh, that's an adaptive family. Just create uh, all the separate panels and then load into this. So I'll upload these two families um, so you can download, have a look, and uh, 
Um, yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you next time. Okay.